how does it feel? I'm happy. ¿Qué es esto por un carte, tío? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Why does it look like I have lipstick on? What's up, boys, and welcome to Headliners episode number one. That is right, Headliners is out today. A brand new promotion has hit the ultimate team shelves, uh, and all the players that people basically predicted it was going to be ended up being what it was. So we've got the likes of a 93 Lewandowski, who I don't have a prayer's chance of getting on the RTG because I'm assuming he's going to be about 500,000 coins. We're going to do an episode on him over the course of the weekend. Uh, we've got an 88 Varane, an 87, uh, an 87 Tells, an 86 Vardy, um, an 86 Samido, uh, uh, an 87 Walker, some absolutely ridiculous, ridiculous looking cards. But today, we are going to be focusing on a main man himself, one of the first informed players we did an Epi on in all of FIFA 20, and that is none other than Adama Triore Diarrhea. He has himself a 99 pace card. He is the only card in FIFA without a chem style that gets himself 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed and all for, for all intents and purposes looks like he is going to be one of those crazy crazy cards we're about to dive into exactly what a headliner is but before we do boys if you guys are excited for this promo uh if you guys are excited for the epis that we're going to have over the course of the next few days with this promo that's out right now drop a math lad like on the video if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below now how does a headliner work let's use adama troyer's card for example let's say that he gets an inform right that inform will be whatever the rating is going to be and this 85 rated card will stay one ahead so he'll go up to an 86 rated inform if he get himself uh gets himself another inform or if his inform becomes an 87 for whatever reason this card will always stay one ahead of the inform however there is a one-time permanent upgrade if the chub if, if the chub if the club receives a four back-to-back -back wins during a remainder of the domestic league season so if they win four games in a row starting january 17th um he is going to get a permanent upgrade to this card as well making headliners one of the most powerful and dynamic player items ever so that's cool so not only can we hope for Adama Troyoro or any of these players that we get that are out in packs right now uh, to get a uh, uh, to get himself a regular inform in game, but if the team goes on a four game winning streak, they get a permanent upgrade as well. I feel like a lot of people are going to become uh, fans of clubs that they usually wouldn't. Me, for example, Gejin Fernandez is going to be transferring over to Spurs, so I'm going to be a huge Spurs supporter when they face off for Leipzig uh, and hope that he gets that inform because that's an SBC that we did for 10k. Uh, speaking of cost, this Adama Triori card came in, I believe, Money. under. Like about 150,000 coins. I did the SBC really, really quickly. But uh, this Adama Troyori right now is 235k. I would imagine that it's probably going to settle anywhere around... Um, I think it'll probably settle in and around the uh, the 180, 190,000 coin mark, but uh, turns into a very, very interesting little card here. Now, compared to his 85 Ultimate Scream card, which is the exact same rating, you have to look at it through a different lens uh, because it does get some upgrades. It basically gets plus two in every physical category and also gets plus two in every dribbling category. So he's a more agile and he's a more physical version, if you can imagine, uh, than that Ultimate Scream Adama Troyer. He sees himself get 91 strength, 82 stamina, uh, he has 82 jumping now. He also has 70 aggression compared to 68. And then, like I said, all his dribbling stats go up plus two. Now, uh, his um, he goes obviously up to 99 sprint speed. It's only one. It's only plus one in the pace category. But uh, the reason that you become a fan of this card and the reason that he's a pretty ex uh, the reason that he's about 200,000 coins as of right now is because he is a live item now. And at any moment, if he gets an inform or if the if if Wolves um, go on a four game win streak, he gets himself an upgrade and would go either believe up to an 86 or 87 rated card. Now we're gonna play him and he slots in perfectly. It's almost as if this epi was meant to be alongside Anaki Williams, Cordoba, and then we've got also that Kevin De Bruyne card. So we're gonna get into a couple matches here with this absolute. Seemingly looking 85 rated mad lad a better dribbling and then a more and, and then a stronger version of Adama Troy We're gonna get into a couple matches here We're gonna see if there's anything special about this card Maybe something that we missed the first time we tried that ultimate scream card or the inform match number one vamos Take a beast 
You absolute monster! There's regular cards, and then there's a card like this. EA, what have you done? Dude, I think I'm slowly but surely turning into Kurt. I legitimately think I'm slowly but surely turning into Kurt. I've been walking around the apartment all day saying, What do you think I got octopus arms? What do you think I got octopus arms? <laughs> Like, this guy has enough of an advantage that he's running with a 99 Ronaldo anyway. Do you need to give him a break like that? Like, you put me in such an uncomfortable situation. Like, you know I'm not happy. You know I'm trying to see if it'll work out here, and I know that it's not. What do you think I got octopus arms? Oh, boys. Adama Troyori turning on the absolute jets. He sends it into the team of the year, KDB. 200,000 coins for a guy with a two star week. Hey, what do you think? I got octopus legs? Fastest player in the game. He's four. There we go, boys. Come on, dude. Weak foot? There's no such thing as a weak foot with a guy that has a freaking 40 inch bicep. Has hair like a goddamn snow. <laughs> Referee! Someone tweeted me saying he's the only player that people actually ignore the weak foot on. Like, it's kind of true though, dude. We all ignore the fact that he's got a two-star weak. It's like a glaring deficiency. Adama <laughs> Traore! There's no one quite like him. Hey, and that's... That's a rage quit. So now that we've looked at his card, um... Uh, w w recognize what the stats are, what they are, right? So it's 39 total in-game stats, plus two in every dribbling, plus two in every physical category. Now that we know that, uh, uh, now that it's confirmed that if a if a club gets four wins in a row, the player gets a, a one-time permanent upgrade, um, and or if a player gets an inform upgrade, the uh, the headliner stays ahead of that. Now that now that we know that, it's why I like the UEL and Champions League cards, right? Like the player doesn't have to have the indiv individual performance; the team has to have the individual. Uh, it, it's based on the team performance, if that makes sense. So um, the, on, on, on that aspect, I like it. So the weak foot doesn't really seem to be an issue. And the 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed definitely looks like it is that. It definitely looks like it is that indeed. The positioning is the one thing that is actually shocking to me. Was that his left? That was, and that was his right. I'm pretty sure that was his right foot. Oh, he's walking by people! Oh my god! Oh my god! Come on, bro! Go on! Go on! Finish him! Finish him! I'm trying- I'm getting too cute. You know when you feel like a player- You know when you feel like a, you have an attacking set of players that are so dominant you just get really cute? Like, we could have finished that. It's 1-0. What am I doing, dude? Stop- Stop pepper hosing around. Ah, let's go, boys. 2 0. Inaki, um. I never get PlayStation, PlayStation messages, and then, like, all of a sudden, like, about a week ago, all these PlayStation messages start popping up. Let's go! 
¡Vamos! ¡Vamos a la playa, chicos! Adama Traora, man. Ah, dude. It's still tough, dude. Like, I mean, is he a luxury item? And he's... Dude, that's with his left foot. <laughs> that's with his freaking left foot, boys. You can get him into a Liga Santander side, a very interesting uh, looking hybrid. Uh, you know, if you did that icon swap for Raul, he becomes a very, very fun option. There's there's so many uh, connectable links for him being Spanish, and then he's also Premier League. And so for 200,000 coins, man, dude. Dare I say it, with some packs back, we're about to find out if they're tradable as well. Dare I say it? Decent value? I love it! Yeah, yeah, yes, you get it. There we go, that's got... Adama. Was that his left foot as well? Oh, he's walking past people! Oh my god! Come on! That's why! He's walking past people! Alright, let's give Fabian Char another shout. Right at the middle. Bam! Let's go. So there you have it, boys. A 9.1 for Adama Traore. He gets himself two goals as well as an assist. He gets 23 out of 32 dribbles completed. And uh, match number three, whereas in match number one, we got absolutely pumped out. This guy got rocked. One shot, zero on target. Match number two, we caused the rage quit. We really showcased what this Adama Traore is about uh, in the last two matches. Even in the first one, we showcased the first goal was arguably the best one against the better team. But uh, very, very good few matches here. Let's get into the packs. We're going to refresh the price of the SBC. Let's see. What's that? Uh, 155. So it looks like it's 200,000 coins right now. It's 220 on the uh, on the PS. Looks like it's about 210 uh, on the Xbox. And look, there's no way to cut it. You're getting yourselves an incredible card, okay? If you're getting an Adama Troyer, you're getting an incredible card. Does he have deficiencies? 100% he does. And they're tradable. The packs are tradable, so that's kind of big. They're not the best packs in the world, but um, uh, they are tradable. So the small rare gold players packs... In terms of value, boys, in terms of the SBC, uh, like I said, the packs aren't incredible. We do get ourselves a board here. Who's it going to be? Um, Cam? Is that uh, Tadic? No, Z. How do we not? <laughs> Moroccan Mad Lad himself, Hakim Ziyech. We get him in the pack right there. An 85 Hakim Ziyech. Not too bad. And then a Terrera and Valaba. So it looks like all the packs are tradable. Now... Boys, in terms of value, it's 200,000 coins. So I am going to go ahead and I'm going to give it a generous. And I say this is generous. Three and a half out of five. You get some good packs back. They're tradable. 200,000 coins isn't super, super expensive. You get a Premier League player. He's Spanish. You can have a little bit of fun with him. For that reason, I'm giving him a three and a half out of five just because of the fun factor. It's headliners. You got a guy that you can root for. You can become an automatic Wolves supporter. So that's kind of fun as well. Uh, and I am going to give him uh, a four out of five. His finishing is beyond what his player... Uh, his player stats indicate his attacking positioning for that matter is beyond what the player stats indicate 99 pace 99 acceleration strength and then really nuts dribbling stats for a card of his stature but i recommend everyone go out and do this spc you know what i would probably hold if i had like 500 600 000 coins with a team that i really really love it's a premier league side maybe i'm doing him but uh i'm probably uh I'm probably just chilling. It's around for six days, so there's no real rush. Let's see what other cards we get um, across the course of the next few days. So I would say don't go rush to get this SBC done. Maybe live vicariously through me. See some of these packs. See how he plays on the pitch. And if there's something you saw in the epi that, that made you want to get him, you know, do what your heart says. That's why I, I never want to tell anyone how to run their club. Uh, Wolves are in some uh, in some poor form. So if there's anything to... If, if, that's help, if that helps you guys make a decision, I believe they're in poor form right now. I think they have two losses and a draw in their most recent matches. That is going to Dude, boys, you guys let me know what you think about Headliner's promo so far. If you guys did enjoy the epi, drop a like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.